All right, welcome. This is Unofficial Community Game, dated July 30th, 2022. The players for today's game, Russia is played by Ted from Marketing. Germany is played by Imp, myself. UK is played by Gregory. Japan is played by Obi-Wan Kenobi. And USA is played by All Britzer. So let's get to it. Russia did their round one. They bought uh, four infantry and two tanks, which is, seems to be, uh, at least I've seen it multiple times now, as a build for Russia. They did the standard 912. They did. Uh, 12 units to attack West Russia, 9 units to attack Ukraine. They were successful on both of those. Uh, I'm going to try something that I've been trying lately and see if it works. Um, I don't know if it's going to be successful yet, but I'm going to try it. The meta seems to be artillery, I'm sorry, infantry and some artillery purchases for Germany. I'm going to split the difference. I'm going to buy 5 infantry and 4 tanks. All right, I'm going to take one guy and take Karelia. I'm going to take those guys, those guys, those guys. The infantry and the artillery over there. We're going to take the battleship and attack the cruiser. We're going to take the three planes and attack Ukraine. Where's my other plane? Here we go. We're going to take those two subs. Those two subs. I'm sorry, that one sub. And these two planes. Attack C-Zone 7. And that is going to be it for the combat. So let's see how it works out. All right. And the reasoning behind this move not taking the cruiser here is because every game I play I seem to trade this transport for free from UK and I wanted at least the cruiser there to take out one of his planes if he only chooses to use one maybe the transport survives if he has to go with two maybe he loses a plane which is a significant loss for him and he's also gonna have to choose if he's gonna take out the battleship down here too this transports dead I know but um, I'm not going to worry about that. Sometimes they die. So, let's see. Let's move. Yeah, let's move them there. Actually, let's try something a little bit different. Let's take... Oh, wait a minute. I got one there who can't get to France. So, let's put them there. Let's put this tank there. 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 Move this guy down. Move this guy over to France. Move these two tanks to Poland. Move two guys. Actually, we'll move all three guys. Down to France. No, we won't move them all. Let's see. Let's move... Oh yeah, I want to take these two guys and move them into Baltic. And take We'll take two of these guys, move them into Baltic. Take this one guy and move him into France. And take these two planes and move them into France. 
Okay, we're going to back this guy off. We're going to move these guys into Libya. I'm going to move this anti-air gun into France. And I think that's going to be it. So, that will be it for Germany's move. Let me just take a look here. And we're going to put all five guys and all four tanks in Germany. So... Whatever he does here, if he decides to do this, we have we can counterpunch with 13 tanks and five planes. So that's going to do Germany's round number one. I will see you back for everyone else's round number one and Germany's round two. All right. Welcome back. This is round two for Germany. So state of the board, Japan's doing pretty well. Uh, they did give up Kuangtung, but based on what he has here in India and what he has here, uh, he's looking okay. And it looks like the allies are selling out for a KGF. So... He's not going to have much of a threat here in the Pacific, which is good for him. Uh, and it would also be ultimately be good for us. He's going to press forward towards Russia. So uh, Russia did press forward into uh, Ukraine, took Ukraine back and took Bello. Bello was free, basically, with one guy. So I am going to take Karelia back, uh, take Bello back, and I'm going to reinforce Poland. And I'm going to buy more tanks and more guys for Germany. And he's going to have some choices to make after this turn because his counterattack, once I take Karelia, is going to be three tanks, two planes, and a guy. So we'll see what happens. I may even move a fourth tank or a fifth tank there. And I have eight tanks here, which may even increase my odds. So I might do that. But we'll, we'll see. So, let's go ahead and get to it. Oh man, we can buy an artillery as well. Or buy one more guy. Hmm. Let's buy an artillery. All right. And this up here is kind of nice. We're going to go up here and kill his destroyer. We're going to take these four tanks. And attack Karelia with these two guys. This plane. And we're going to take... Uh, let's see here. Three guys from here. We're going to take one guy into Bello, and then this guy is going to go into Bello. And then two of these planes are going to go right here. And that is going to do it for combat for this turn. I 
think that's all I wanted to do. Yeah, I think that that's all I wanted to do. All right, let's see how it pans out. All right. Take these planes, put them back in Poland. This plane, put them back in Poland. Move four guys up here. One guy right there. Just so he can't blitz over here. And let's see. So we're going to we have nine tanks there. And we'll have three planes and four guys. And we have four and four. Move one more tank up to Karelia. So we'll end up with eight here, five here, four guys there, four guys there, and a bunch of planes. And actually, let's take these planes. Because he's got nothing that can land in France right now. Nothing can land in France. So let's take them and go to Poland also. And we'll take this guy and move him forward. They're probably going to take Morocco. But uh, that's okay. Because obviously our goal is... Russia's going to have to make a choice now. He can counter me right here. Or he can take Bello back, which he'll have to do if, unless he's going to have 12 tanks coming into West Russia and a bunch of planes next turn with a bunch of guys. So he's going to take Bello back. We can trade that. But I'm going to have more forces here with which to keep pressing. And so we'll see what happens. I didn't take Ukraine back right now because... I didn't have, I made the mistake last turn of not putting guys in Poland. If I put guys in Poland instead of Baltic, I would have moved into Ukraine because then I could have had some cannon fodder when they counterattacked, but I didn't want to have all the hits be tanks. So that's why I didn't do that. Mistake on my part, not putting uh, any infantry in Poland last turn. So we're going to end that. We're going to put the four tanks, the five guys, and the artillery in Germany. And that will do it for Germany's second turn. I will see you guys back for... The rest of round two and Germany's round three. All right, welcome back. This is round three's move for Germany. So state of the board, Soviet Union pressed forward a little bit. Um, and the United States fleet is getting ready to make landings probably in France. But they could start doing the old uh, Norway-Finland uh, push. But my compadre captured India and is basically dominating, um, I guess that's Western Asia or Eastern Asia. I guess that's Eastern Asia. So he's doing real well and, and the United States is fleeing. They're sending everything over here to try to do the KJF. KGF. So, uh, I'm just going to keep the pressure on. I'm going to take Bellow back, and I'm going to stack Bellow with a uh, lot of stuff. I'm going to, for the time being, abandon Karelia. Um, I'm going to build... Well, I'm not... Yeah, they bombed Germany, so I can only put six troops in there, but that's okay, because I'm not going to buy that many. I'm just going to buy nine... Infantry is in two tanks. So let's do that. And 
And we're going to take everything we have and invade. We're going to take Ukraine back with four planes and a guy. We're going to hope that we can take this. Because we're only sending one guy, so if we don't take it, so be it. If he wants to, he can blitz a tank in here. But we're going to have um, some troops here holding Poland. We'll throw a couple troops in Karelia, maybe. Or we'll just let him take it back. Probably let him take it back. At this point. Because we can keep trading it. Our goal is obviously I communicated with uh, Obi-Wan. If he can snake Hawaii. And I can hang on to what we have now. Obviously they're going to land in France. They're going to start bombarding this side. If they want to go up here and mess with this. That's fine. Because I can send a bunch of tanks and stuff to Karelia. If I can hold this for a couple turns and he takes Hawaii. The game is over. So. Uh, we'll see if we can do that. But right now I'm just going to stack Bellow and try to take Ukraine back and put a little bit more infantry. I am going to fall back a little bit out of France. And one thing that I didn't do earlier, which I should have done, is I should have been moving my anti-aircraft forward. So the once, once it got here, um, it has a chance to shoot down some of these planes if they if they attack, So which I haven't been doing, so I'm going to start doing that this turn. All right, so let's. All right, so in the non-com, the planes. Since Poland is now protected, we'll send the planes back to Germany. Actually, no, we won't. We'll send them back to Poland because we want to use them. We want to use them for the attack on this. We take the five troops and the infantry or the artillery there. We're going to move an anti aircraft gun forward. We're going to move these four guys back to Germany and we're going to move one anti aircraft gun back to Italy and another one back to Germany. So we're kind of abandoning this coastline right now. But we're going to have some troops in here to deal with it um, if it gets taken. Right now, we're just going to trade Corellia back and forth and just keep trying to pressure him here. we got a decent stack in Bello. Although, I still have a 100% chance to defend, but I'm going to lose, let's see, 35, 15, 20. That's five tank, or... Uh, four tanks. So I'll still have 13 tanks. Roughly, if he uh, if he attacks this with ev with everything he has here, oh, I'll still have 13 tanks left. So that would be good. So let's drop two tanks in Germany. No, yeah, we'll drop four guys in Germany. We'll drop. Two guys in Karelia, and we'll drop three guys in Italy. And he, UK could probably take this and take France. And then the U.S. could stack France, which is fine, because we'll have enough stuff to take it back. All he can drop in here is one tank. And then USA can drop all this stuff in there. So they might do that. And we'll see how that goes. But I have a little bit of money left over. 
So we should be able to buy uh, some defense for Germany if, when we need to. All right. That is round three for Germany. And I will see you back for the rest of round three for the Axis and Allies and round four. All right. Welcome back. This is Germany's round four. Just the state of the board. Um, I think my stack in Bellow worked like it was supposed to. He pretty much backed out of Ukraine and backed out of West Russia, put everything in the Caucasus, stacked Russia, um, and he took back Karelia. So, and the Allies landed in France, which I anticipated they would do. So, I got to start defending against this fleet here. My partner, Japan, is doing very well. Um, he already took India. He's building a stack here. He's already moving towards Russia with his guys here. He's got bomber. He's got a uh, nice fleet here with no opposition. Sub is a little bit troublesome, but he's already taken Australia. He's going to start moving down here. He should have Hawaii in a couple turns. He's doing very well. So on the, I just got to make sure I defend Germany and still put pressure on Russia. So my plan for this, I'm going to try to do th four things. I'm going to uh, kick everybody out of France. Well, first of all, they bombed my, my uh, German industrial complex. I'm going to repair that. Luckily, I have 40 IPC, so it's not so bad. But I need to repel this invasion and... I'm going to stack, now that I have this here, I'm going to move all this, what I can, into Ukraine and stack this. He's not going to be able to, he'll only have this to respond, and it's not going to work. Uh, my, my, I'm going to do a couple of risky things. I'm going to move a couple tanks and a guy and t try to take Karelia back. And I am going to try to take West Russia. The key, obviously, is West Russia, because I don't want him to blitz up here with his tanks and planes and kill my two tanks and a guy if uh, with his counterattack if he does that. Not sure that he would do that, but he, I mean he could. So my plan is to take this. So in order to do that, so let's go to the purchase phase. We're going to repair our... We're only going to repair nine. So we have 33 because we're going to buy 11 guys. All right, the combat move. We're going to take back France. We're going to... Take a couple guys and a plane. We're going to take two guys here, two tanks and a guy there. And we're going to take the remaining two guys into Ukraine. So that's going to be our combat moves. Obviously, if all three of these succeed, which would be great. Uh, we're going to put a lot of pressure on Russia here, and, and he's getting squeezed by both sides. Um, it's only a matter of time before the Coxes fall. Uh, but I do have to spend some time and energy defending this. So I'm going to put nine guys in Germany, land some planes in Germany, put a couple more guys in Italy, and uh, defend against future invasions here. So because the next turn, he can drop these guys into France, and England can drop like a guy in a tank in here as well. But it's got to be the one two from. Well, it's got to usually got to be the one two from England. And so he's not in a position to do that yet. I just got to hold out because he's moving steadily towards Moscow. If we cut him off and Japan starts bleeding into Africa, 
and I can concentrate over here, this might be uh, be good for us. So, especially if he manages to take Hawaii. So let's uh, see how that goes. All right, so that looks strong. That looks strong. Uh, let's see here. All right. All right, so our four fighters here are going to fly back to Germany. Our anti aircraft is going to go back to France. This anti aircraft is going to go into Ukraine. This plane is going to fly. Hmm, I'll put them back in Poland. Uh, let's see. I fully expect him to take back West Russia. But he's not going to be able to take back Ukraine. For sure. So, but I anticipate he'll probably move down to stack the Caucasus or, but he's going to have to take back West Russia. So he'll probably take back West Russia and then move down. I'll be able to build some guys here. And he's about a turn or two away from getting... Uh, more reinforcements to France and all the while Japan is just going to be dominating in the Pacific and and moving slowly steadily I mean he's he's close to starting to capture northern Russia too so uh, that's doing good right now so I just want to make sure I didn't miss any moves here which I don't think I did So, we're going to mobilize 9 infantry into Germany, 2 infantry into Italy. And that will be it. Hopefully next turn we can maybe buy some more armor or some more planes to start uh, dealing with this. We may just want to buy infantry for another couple turns to uh, keep defending. We have a significant IPC production, which is good. So... He's going to have to make some choices, probably, to maybe come up here. I guess he could go... Well, he can't take this now, because he's got nothing to put in this transport. He's going to have to come down here. These guys have no land troops anymore. So I've got a couple turns with which to fortify my French defenses if I want. And push on uh, forward. So that's Germany's round four. I will see you back for everyone else's round four and Germany's round five. All right, welcome back. This is round five for Germany. So the state of the board right now, uh, we have a very good opportunity to win this game at, at the end of this turn. So uh, we have eight out of nine cities, and Japan is surely going to take Hawaii next turn, or this turn when, when they go. And USA has absolutely nothing that can respond to counter that. So we're going to have Hawaii at the end of round five. So I just have to defend France and Germany and Karelia. I looked at the board and they don't have anything that can touch Italy. I don't care about Russia's turn because if all goes well, they won't have a turn. And so I don't have to push forward into... The Caucasus or West Russia or anywhere else. All I have to do is defend these three cities or four cities and let Japan close it out for us. So that's what I'm going to do. They did bomb my I, industrial complex in Germany again. So one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to repair that and Let's see here. All right. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to repair the IC in Germany. And we're going to buy 12 guys. All 
All right, for combat, we're going to see if we can take uh, this thing here. I would love to kill the American units because then he can't use them to take France. Because with these units and these six units, four planes, uh, the battleship and the cruiser bombarding, it's not terrible, but I've calculated that if I throw 11 infantry, two tanks, an anti-aircraft, and four fighters in here, uh, I should be able to hold from everything they can bring, which is six infantry, four fighters, a bomber, a cruiser, and a battleship. Unless I miss something, which it's possible that I missed something, but I don't, I don't see that I miscalculated. Obviously, I'm counting the fact that I kill these. If I don't kill these, then uh, uh, that would be a problem. So. I don't actually have to take Northwestern Europe, but I do have to kill these units. So I'm going to take six of those guys there, all these planes, and this plane as well. And we're going to attack Northwestern Europe just to kick these guys out of here so they can't attack in France. So, that's all the combat moves we're going to make this turn. I could push into Soviet Union, but I'm not going to, because if we can defend this, we can win the game, which is the ultimate goal. So, uh, if we weren't in the position we were in, I would probably push into West Russia. Or maybe, because, yeah, that's that's a fat stack right there in, in the Caucasus. I don't think, uh, I haven't done the calculations, but... It would take me a couple more turns, I think, to take the Caucasus, so I won't be doing that. But I think that's everything. If this battle starts to go poorly, we'll just retreat, and hopefully we kill some of these guys that can be used uh, to attack us. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. All right, for the non-combat move, four of the planes are going to fly there. One to Germany. These two guys are going to go to France. Eight tanks are going to go to Karelia. So I have ten tanks there. The other seven are going to go to Germany. These infantry are going to back off to Poland. Everything I have in Ukraine is going to back off one spot. Like I said, they should not have a turn, so it, it shouldn't matter. If they do end up having a turn, then, then so be it. But they should not have one if I'm able to stack this. So I'm going to have 12 guys, 4 planes. So I'm going to have 12 guys, 4 planes, 2 tanks, and an anti-air gun. And uh, according to my calculations, it's 100% I win. So if he can win that, then they deserve to win the game. So that's all I'm going to do for this turn. As far as non-combat, that should fortify that. Actually, you know what? Because I'm going to put 10 guys. Yeah, I'll do that. I'm going to put 10 guys in Germany. And two guys in Karelia. So if they manage, I mean, he all he can attack Karelia with is, let's see, three guys via transport, a tank, two artilleries, two fighters. He has no bombers left. He has no battleships to bombard. That's it. That's all he's got. 
And I have three infantries and ten tanks. And I'm winning 100%. So whatever I lose there is no big deal because he can't take the territory. So that calculation is also 100%. So we should be good. Oh, I only have 11 guys in there. Hmm. All right, well, we'll see what happens. I should be okay here. Uh, if not, I will take it back, uh, no doubt, next turn. And he will not have enough to mass a, an attack for a third time. And then I should be able to... Uh, well, we'll see what happens. That might be interesting, but... As it, as it looks so far, it looks like we're in a really good position to win the game this turn. So, if it goes well, I will see you back for the wrap-up, uh, or I will be back for Germany's round six. All right, welcome back. It appears the moves of the last turn paid off, and the Axis have scored a victory. So just take a quick uh, look at the board. Japan was able to take Hawaii, giving us the nine victory cities that we needed. And because they had spent no time in the Pacific, they had nothing that could counter that move there. I will say that uh, England and America uh, were smart about uh, what they did. They tried the one-two. England attacked France, significantly weakened it, <clears throat> and then USA uh, took whatever they had to try to take France. But you, uh, France, Germany was able to hold on. So, a couple of quick thoughts on this game. Definitely the taking of India so quickly in the game which pretty much gave Japan free reign to push towards Russia without any thought of a counterattack. And he basically just swept through all the Pacific, took all the islands. And because USA abandoned the Pacific early, they had nothing in there to counter. So... That is the end of the game. We did have a substantial amount of troops. We could have kept playing. If they didn't manage to take this, we could probably have taken it back. Uh, but they were going to keep coming. So it was a good thing the game ended right now. And they had a sizable force here uh, plugging up uh, the Caucasus. Obviously, if uh, we anticipated that we were going to be able to hold the cities and take Hawaii and win the game. Otherwise, we probably would not have pulled back so much because we could have pressed forward into, into Russia. But that will be the end of the community game. My thanks to everybody for playing. I thought it was a good game. Well played on all sides. And the Axis came out on top. So that will do it for this video. I will see you next time. Thanks.